Hello everyone. Join me as I review this really nice small parts organizer and storage system that I found on printables. If you're anything like me, over time you've collected a bunch of parts, screws, in this case parts and pieces for 3D printers, and um, my collection has grown immensely and I just, I need to get organized. And so I looked around for quite some time and I found this really nice modular drawer system where you have mix and match parts or inserts uh, that you can use of all different sizes to store all your screws and small parts. Uh, I found this really easy to build, really nice, elegant. And so I figured I'd just show you how this looks and works, as well as where to get the STL files because it's not exactly straightforward all in one place. So after looking for quite some time, I found this ultimate drawer system on Thingiverse. And what I really liked about it was all the drawers were exactly the same, except multiples of each other. And uh, they had these really nice cabinets um, that were designed elegantly, simply. Um, they came in all these different sizes and they had all the uh, holes you needed to attach these together, either side by side, top on top of each other. Um, they were all countersunk nicely to use standard bolts. And then they had these drawers, which were almost ideal, except uh, they were pretty much pre-designed with all these um, compartments or spacings within them. And I wanted something that was a lot more adjustable, especially if I was gonna devote all the time to printing to it. So to print the drawers, even with the replaceable parts, uh, you will need to choose one of the cabinets or more of one or more of the cabinets um, because the other locations I'm going to show you don't contain these. So simply download the ones you want um, or need. I believe they go all the way up to 12 units. There's also a couple other pieces here, um, like uh, some pieces to fill in some of the holes if you need to, or if you're not gonna put screws in them. So here's the modular drawers for the great drawer system. And these fit um, in the cabinet. As you can see, the different compartments are different sizes. You can mix and match these as needed. If you take a look at the STL, these are massive and each size looks basically like this with all the drawers. And if you're using Cura or any of the other tools, it's almost impossible. Um, in fact, it is until you download some other software. So what has happened is uh, some other creators out there um, have posted the 1U, 2U, and 3U sizes already broken down. And here are the links in this um, Thingiverse post. And so you can simply follow these. So I started by printing enough drawers to fill in a cabinet. Um, I'm lucky enough where I can fit four of these on my printer as a at a time. Of course, it depends on the size of your bed. These print relatively quick, uh, no infill, and uh, very simple, very easy, no bridges or anything needed. Then I picked through the selection of uh, inserts or cups to insert in the trays, and uh, I multiplied them uh, based on the number that I wanted. And uh, in some cases, some of these I included just to test print, um, really just to see what does the size really look like? Is it something I'm really gonna want? And uh, this actually took a lot longer to print than I thought it would. Um, it's a lot of moves, so you need to be patient. Here's a second batch, uh, different size inserts. Uh, what's interesting is here, if you look real close, you can see where uh, uh, the slot is for uh, a paper insert or a label. And all of these have them, as well as the drawers on the outside as well, which is really kind of nice. And again, these are all multiples of each other as well, so they're pretty much mix and match. And then of course you have to print the cabinet, and this is the uh, cabinet that all the drawers will slide in. Um, you can see uh, at least the beginning of the slots, the mounting points for the back side, and you can also see where the insert um, spaces are for the five millimeter nuts, um, which are really nice because they sit flush and recessed if you decide to connect multiples of these cabinets together. The instructions indicate no infill is needed. Um, 
I put a 10% infill uh, just because I was going to be putting some heavy parts and um, this is ABS and so my hope was it might help eliminate um, any possible warping even though this is in an enclosed printer and if, as you can see at the base at the corners I actually still have a tiny pit of warping um, but it's not enough to cause any problems. So here the print uh, is complete. This is the finished cabinet. Um, I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it looks great. Um, <laughs> I actually really like this color of red as well. Um, I think it'll look really nice and complement the drawers, which are blue. Here's the unit with one of the 1U drawers installed. Um, here's another one of the drawers with the uh, 4x4 grid of cups inserted. Um, you can also clearly see on the face of these drawers um, the label holders as well where you can insert a, a piece of um, <laughs> thick paper or thin cardboard labels. And um, this is with no cleaning, no sanding, anything of the kind. Um, I've just quite literally pulled these off the printer, popped everything in, all the inserts, and uh, everything pretty much slides in really nicely. Uh, the cups themselves might need a little bit of cleanup or sanding. Uh, some of them tend to fit really kind of tight and it's sometimes a little bit difficult to pull the cup out. Um, but again, uh, nothing to complain about. Here's a 2U drawer as well, so you can see what that looks like. And again, since all the drawers are multiples of each other, everything fits in really nice, really perfectly, really easily. Please click subscribe when you get the chance. Uh, and um, let me know if uh, you felt uh, a review of a 3D print or a 3D model that's out there and available is useful to you. Um, please let me know in the comments below. And uh, just to end this, I'm really actually quite impressed with this drawer system. The design is really, really quite nice. Everything fits together really well, really nice and tight. And uh, I'm actually printing several more of these as I get my collection of screws and small 3D printer parts organized. And uh, it's really helping in terms of my basement, straightening things out and making everything look good and uh, <laughs> making it, a, or at least appeasing other members of the family. Anyway, thank you. Please click subscribe.